Hi, Libra. Happy New Year. You're here with Bella Katrina and the Angels. And we're going to bring you some divine guidance, some healing and some messages. So I'm working with a lot of Doreen Virtue cards today, including romance, angels, fairies, messages from the angels and daily guidance from the angels. And we're going to do a snapshot with Lucy Cavendish Tarot and the Holy Spirit. And we're going to look at soulmate Reiki cards. So I do soulmate Reiki. So that's an activation where you receive a set of sequence, sacred sequence, uh, sacred symbols in a special sequence. <laughs> it's alliteration for Bella. And it actually activates your energy field helps release any pain it's absolutely magic and um, then you do a soul magic healing package to integrate it down to anchor it for life so if you're looking that you need to get a, a frequency trajectory out of this loop that you're in you need it libra you think too much you're in your mind too much and you're not in your feet i can't feel your feet at all and that's what reiki is about is getting present but anyway, do your own thing because, you know, you can find meditations and things like that. So here are angels. We've got to follow your guidance. And this is messages from the angels for Libra. What's coming up in the next two or three weeks for their heart chakra, for love and romance. If they get out of their mind long enough. Innocence, beloved one. Everyone is guiltless in truth. As no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection, give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may be shroud your, shrouding your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Needing a big hug, Libra. Big hug from your guardian angel. And it's going back to childhood and showing me you know, there were times where it was very stressful and even to the point of abuse. So needing some, you know, healing there. You need to reach out. You need to actually get some help. So maybe I'm not the person for you, but you can ask Archangel Raphael who, to lead you to the best healer or healing modality to help you unravel from that trauma. Yeah, again, look. Childhood trauma has come up to surface. It was a massive wolf moon. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. This is your own inner child again. See how the halo just went from the, was on, it was on the guardian angel and now it's on you. Did you notice that? What cards were they? It was the bottom, wasn't it? See that? The halo is on the angel and then it transfers to you. So this is healing. Get the healing. You need it from childhood trauma. The angels are saying and that's also what I pick up. Because your inner child needs to feel safe in love and romance and it doesn't doesn't feel safe without it just because this has come up to clear so when we put our mind on it we go into the matrix and then we go a little bit you know frequency fast and that causes friction you know when you have oh, I'm gonna put those out um, static it's like static when your hair flies up and you can get an electric shock I get it from after being in the car that's why I take hematite hematite is a grounding crystal and it's silver so you can wear it because this is about knowing yourself, also trusting that you're okay by being you. You don't have to be something for somebody else. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So when you're trying to please others, it depletes your power. Also here is dietary change. And again, you've got your grandmother here, or great grandmother, or guardian angel energy. Right, having a chit chat, you need to talk about this. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. So this is also about um, colour eating, eating the colour, whatever colour you're drawn to, right? Eating a rainbow, so different colours, the colours of the rainbow to eat, I get, because 
Um, it's like you eat the same thing every day. <laughs> Is that true? Same thing every day. Let's do a snapshot and then we'll do romance and then soulmate Reiki. Hope you're enjoying this reading. Thank you for joining me on my channel and supporting me and um, for your insights for, you know, to share with others and also your comments and um if you're interested at all in learning a natural healing modality to self-heal first, I do teach um, Tibetan Yusui natural healing method of Reiki. And it's done online with workshops and attunements one-on-one -on -one with me on Skype. We're going into calling the Romance Angels and Archangel Michael to protect this reading and all Librans watching and to bring in a bit of safety for their inner child to feel safe and whoa, we're asking really about romance and love in the next two weeks, please, angels. So what flew out then, and I'll show you, is new career moves. So there's a new job opportunity coming in. Take it, a promotion, anything. It may look small, but you need it. It's going to be rewarding. It's going to fulfill a need, but right now you can't see it. Maybe because your head's too far ahead. You know, you think that's not really going to fit into my future, but you can't see how it's going to open up for you. So that's what that message is about. And also some unexpected help in finances. I get also support, unexpected support coming in. So please be open to receiving it. That's just saying don't sign any contracts just yet because these people are not trustworthy. Here, you may have to renegotiate the job contract. But we were wanting about love. We were looking for love for Libra. Are they in their heart? No. It's in your mind. This is about um, you can't go on anymore giving, giving, giving to everybody else and worrying about everybody else and worrying about all those details of life. And you, it's like going, putting your car on the hoist you know, at the mechanics, and then putting the foot down and doing all those kilometres. You're not going anywhere. So you get down off the hoist and it's time for a service and you haven't been anywhere. So that's over. This is what this card is saying. It's like that is done. No more giving your mental energy, your thought process to things that don't serve you. So think of your mind as a penthouse suite. It's high-end real estate, at the moment or in the past, you have let squatters come in. Now, they don't only just not pay you, they actually wreck the place, so it costs you. Do you understand? So it's like rather have no one in there so it's not going to cost you more and then have it ready and be discerning about what thoughts you allow in to your mind. This is a, almost a nervous breakdown. Here, yeah, look. Very nervy, very upset, re releasing the past, test of courage, dreaming about change and recharging your hopes. You're trying to, right? But you don't really have the energy to do it because these are wands coming in, three and four of wands. But if your mind's still going, you get depleted. And this is because, you know, it's like you can't see in front of you. It's like can't see the forest for the trees. So you have to close your eyes and go to your inner net and let go of that past of giving away that high-end real estate to squatters and people that wreck it because it's time to fulfill your desires. Now, this is also, um, you might find out a secret they're showing me in the next four weeks that just brings that to a head, go, right, that's it, I'm done, right? It's like going to your bank account knowing that these people never paid rent but they kept telling you they did, so you didn't look, and then you look, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's no dividends on what you've been thinking about, in the, so you've got to let that go in the past. And it's also bringing up childhood trauma to be released, right, to help your heart heal, because really you've got a lot of courage, you've got a lot of strength to have been through what you've been through. But this is saying to have encouragement, you've never had that to a high degree. So this is for you to be your own cheerleader, right? Get a plan on paper, write down what you're letting go of. Go, I accept new opportunities as they come in because I'm moving forward without any squatters, <laughs> without any squatters. And also, you know, in relationships, people that worry you, anxiety, stress, it's like that's codependency. Something, you know, mentally not right here. There's a mental issue that you need help with because you worry a lot, worry. So the outcome in one month is better. One month, feeling better, 
at the job, that's when you see that you're so glad you took that opportunity or started that relationship because it didn't seem good in the beginning, but one month later it's get, it gets really good or there's a promotion or somebody else comes in and, you know, it could even be a romance at the new job or a new person coming into the workplace. So office romance. I don't know how they go. You have to tell me. So this is the theme, right? Letting go of this. So watching your parents' marriage maybe was not really what you want. So it's actually brought you down to think, I don't want that. But underneath it, you do want love. So this is saying get clear, get grounded, get present, get my 45 minute meditation every day for the next four weeks. And clear your energy in your home, in your body. Slow down your mind, receive your guidance, and then decide what is it that you really want so that it comes to you now. So we're going to read that one for you. If I can find the romance angels. Sorry, Libra, just taking a big deep breath because we've got lots of healing energy in this video for you. Angels are here. So you can actually receive it because believe it or not, you're picking frequency up 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You need to use discernment about that because you're an air sign, right? So you need to think about airways, Wi-Fi, television, frequency, you know, air that you breathe, words that you speak, words that you hear. It's got to be really um, supportive of you, not bringing you down. You want encouragement because you've got heaps of courage. This card asks, what do you want? And demands very clear and specific answers, just like putting your order in at a restaurant. The universe has been listening to your thoughts and feelings about your love life and has brought you what you asked for. When you complain about what served to you, it's only because you placed an unclear order. As soon as you are perfectly straightforward about what it is you deserve and desire, it comes to you upon the wings of angels in an instant. You drew this card because it's time. It's time for you to clear and honest and be honest with yourself and to clear your energy and formulate your requests with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions for yourself about what's best for you. This is what it's all about. It's like these decisions are what's best for me, not believing somebody's sob story and then going into chaos and anxiety about it. So we're calling in the soulmate Reiki angels for Libra just to help heal their heart. Is there a message from their future beloved or the one they're with? You are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to help you remember who you truly are. An eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. From their beloved, please, a message, soulmate, Reiki angels. These are by Tony Carmine Salerno. They're soulmate cards. Aren't they beautiful? Every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as a good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all is as it should be. So in this healing, you will, you will, it will be revealed to you that what you thought you wanted, it's changed. You don't want that anymore. You just want to be chilled out and have um, intellectual compatibility. They're saying intellectual compatibility. My love is like an ocean forever longing your shore. Oh, forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. Excellent. These are messages for Libra from the angels. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. I know it's quick. I'll be back in the next couple of days because we're heading through a portal in the next two weeks. And um, thanks so much again for booking with me, getting your free upgrades and for commenting here. I'm here for you. And we say thank you to the guides and the angels for coming in and Archangel Michael to stay by your side day and night so that you can feel safe and protected and move forward fearlessly into your wonderful future of joy and happiness. And I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask this for you. Love from Bella Katrina and the angels. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.